Well, good morning, everyone. This is the day the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing, praise God, and glad in it. Welcome to our class this morning, praise God. Morning, morning, morning with Jesus, glory to God. Jesus says his mercies are new every morning, praise God. So it's good when each of you get online with me every morning, and we get a chance to experience God's fresh, uh, fresh new mercies, his fresh new grace, Praise God, fresh new uh, uh, love, praise God. Praise God, welcome Pastor Kevin this morning. Praise God, welcome Mary. The Lord is good this morning. Amen. Always great to have you all as you're coming on with me on a, on a daily basis. Praise God. It is exciting, praise God, being a part of your lives and being a part of being able to impart into your lives. We're partners together. Amen. Praise God. God is at work in our lives as each of you are sharing the gospel, but also as we're receiving from one another in Jesus' name. So we praise God for that. And it's exciting being a part of what the Lord is doing. Praise God in our lives. So we're excited about it. And we're getting ready to get into the ministry of the word of God today. We got some things we're going to be sharing today. Uh, uh, as far as the lesson we're going to be having, it's always exciting having all of your own. Praise God for each of you. Amen. Praise God. Now today... I'm going to continue to talk about the favor of God. Bless you, Montoya. Welcome this morning. I'm going to be talking today about, we've been talking for the last few days on the favor of God. And so today, I want to talk to you about activating the favor of God in your life. Activating. You know, uh, they used to have the, what they called jerry curls years ago. We would always get a lot of curls on our hair and things like that. And sometimes it would look like it was just frizzy. But if you put that activator on it, it would all of a sudden look, it would come alive again and look very fresh. Well, God wants you and I to activate the favor of God in our lives. Because many times, just because we, uh, we, we, we believe for it and we hope for it, does not, also, don't, does not always uh, mean that you're going to experience it. So the whole goal now is that God has given you favor and it's time for you and I to actually talk about all this week about but what, what, what in the book of Psalms, it talks about that your, that your day of your year of favor has come. Well, I want you to know that favor belongs to you. Favor is not a season. Favor is a state. It is a, a part of your inheritance. You, you, you are heirs to God's favor. Are you following? So it, but but, but you got to still activate it. In other words, if you have an inheritance, if you don't go down to the court and, and claim it and activate it, it will lie in the court. All, your, your, your uncle may have left you $5 million, but if you don't claim it, and if you don't activate that in your life personally, you can still go through life without having the experiencing the favor that your uncle left you. So we're going to talk about a little bit about that today. And I want to start with Jesus and his ministry. And I want to, uh, in the book of Luke chapter number 4, verse 18, and we'll probably read maybe down to verse 21. Because I want you to see that, you know, Jesus has just come off a 40-day a, a fast. You know, he had just spent time, you know, uh, 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 being being adversely uh, 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 attacked by the devil, but but having overcome every attack the devil brought to him, praise God. But then he's getting ready to activate the favor of God on his life. And one thing he's doing is he's speaking it. He's declaring who he is. He's declaring what he has. And he's declaring what he's here to do. Because sometimes if you don't, you can have the favor of God, but as long as it's inside of you, it doesn't happen until you begin to start speaking it. So notice what Jesus Christ said here in the book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 18 through 21. I'm just going to read it, then we'll kind of discuss it a little bit. You see, he said, the Spirit, this is the first time talking about his ministry. He said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, verse 19, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And then he goes on in verse number 20, then he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all of them that were in the synagogue were fastened upon him. And then in verse 21, and he began to say unto them, this is now, this day, this day, is this scripture fulfilled in your ears? You got to come to the point where as of today, the, 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 the God's purpose on my life and the favor that's on my life is, 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 is the day. I'm claiming it right now. This is who I am. 
This is why I've been sent, praise God, and this is the level of favor that's on my life. He began to declare that. So I want you to uh, also, I'm going I'm to read this in the Amplified Bible, I, I wanna, I, but I'm just going to read verse number 19 in the Amplified Bible. And look, look what, he, what the Amplified Bible says that he actually spoke there in verse 19. It says, he, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, this is now, when salvation and the free favors of God profusely abound. Glory to God. He said, I come to declare that right now. I come to declare the acceptable year of the Lord. This, you, you're now in it. You're not coming to it. You are now in it. Praise God. And he says, the, it's, it's the acceptable uh, uh, year of the Lord. Listen now, the day when salvation and the free favors of God profusely abound. I want you to begin to declare that in your life. This is Friday, praise God. And I want you to say, this day, the free favors of God profusely abound in my life. Glory to God. You got to declare that. Amen, in Jesus' name. So favor is something that you have. It's your inheritance. Like healing is something that you have. It's your inheritance. Salvation is something that you have. It's your inheritance. But he said, uh, but, but in Romans chapter 10, verse 17, I mean, verse 19, uh, 10, verse 9, 9 and 10, said, but if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised from the dead, you shall be saved. But with the heart, man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth, confession is made to salvation. So even though salvation is, is, is a part of your inheritance, you have it, it's yours. You still got to make a confession of it. So it's important for you today and me to begin to declare right now the free favors of God profusely abound, abound in my life. And I'm saying a thing about you today in Jesus' name. Now, the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter number 9 and verse number 8, I'm, I'm going to read that out of the Amplified Bible too. The Amplified Bible, 2 Corinthians chapter, chapter 9 and verse number 8. Look what that says. It says, and God is able to make all grace, every favor, and earthly blessing come to you in abundance. So I want you to begin to declare that. That as of today, the free favors of God profusely bound in my life. And God, as of today, right now, every favor and earthly blessing comes to me in abundance. Glory to God as of today. Glory to God. I'm activating, I'm activating my favor. I'm activating God's favor on my life. And that's what the Spirit of God is saying to you today. That that which you have received as an inheritance is now in time for you to possess it and confess it. Possess it and confess it. Because like Romans 10, 9 says, he says in 10, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth, thou the, the Lord Jesus, and believe in thy heart. Are you following? Uh, 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 Mark, uh, uh, Mark 11, 23. For verily I say unto you, if you shall say to this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in your heart, but shall believe that those things which you say shall come to pass, you shall have whatsoever you say. So until you speak it, until you declare it, it remains inactive. Even though it's there, it remains your inheritance, but you got to begin to speak it and declare it as yours. In order for it to be activated. Uh, your father said today. Now, so uh, you got to start declaring over your health, the health of your body. Because, you know, as you grow and maybe age or you know, your body go through different situations, you got to gotta start declaring. You got to start declaring in the name of Jesus Christ, my health is restored. My health is restored. My health is restored. Are uh, you following me? God bless you, Pastor. Hamilton, I'm from my Canada. God bless you, man of God. Welcome. Amen. Now, Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 17. It looks, what it, look what it says here. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, said the Lord. So as of today, you got you to gotta activate that favor. That healing now belongs to you. And God says that he, I will restore health to you. So I, you got to begin to declare right now, my health is restored. Now, right now in the natural realm, that cancer may still be there. In the natural realm, your blood pressure may be still be acting a fool. And things like that, amen. But you got to start declaring, no, according to the word of God, as a part of the favor that's on my life, my health 
is restored. He said in the book of Exodus, I am the Lord that healeth thee. He, uh, then he went on to say, I'm thinking in, in Deuteronomy, that I will take sickness and disease out of your midst, and the number of your days I will fulfill. That's a part of the favor of God that's on your life. The free, the free favors of salvation are on you right now. He said, in this day, it has been fulfilled in your ears. I'm declaring it for you as God representative today. I need you for, on behalf of the Lord Jesus Christ to begin to activate your favor by declaring it, by confessing it. Because he said what the heart man believes, but at the mouth confession is made unto salvation. The Bible said life and death are in the power of your tongue. The Bible says you're snared with the words of your mouth. In other words, you can't go no farther, even though the inheritance belongs to you, even though favor belongs to you, but until you begin to start declaring it, glory to God. That's like a man said, he kept telling his wife, I love you, honey, and I want to be with you for forever. Uh, he said, okay, now you really mean that? Yeah. Well, let's go before, the, let's go before the, the, the pastor and let's confess our vows to one another. Oh, I'm not ready for all that. I'm not, you know, no, no. When he's ready... He'll confess it before people. Are you following me? But Jesus said, you deny me before men, I'll deny you before my father is in heaven. So ladies or, or men, if, no matter what they're talking about, if they're not willing to confess it, amen, amen, before people and marry you, then they're not really sincere yet. Are you following? I don't know how that came up right there. But sometimes, you know, if a person is denying you before men, are you following me? You should deny them. Amen. Glory to God. The, you are not a secret agent. You're not a secret lover. Glory to God. If they need to come public with that's a, That's for somebody. Who that's for? That's some, for somebody in Jesus' name. Now, you got to proclaim your health. God says, I am a Lord that healeth thee. He said that in the book of Psalms, the number of thy days I will fulfill. And then notice in Matthew, God wants you to walk in health. Jesus Christ died and gave his life. For your sins. Uh, Matthew 8, 16, it says, When the evening was come, they brought unto Jesus all that many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word, this is now, and healed all that were sick. That means no matter what sickness you're dealing with, Jesus heals all that were sick. So can I say this to you right now? I don't care what sickness is on your life. I don't care what disease on your life. I make the announcement today on the behalf of the Lord Jesus Christ that you're healed. The Lord healeth thee right now. And your body is recovered from that sickness. Your body is recovered from that disease. And then he says in verse 17 in Matthew 8, 17, that it might be fulfilled. Which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying, himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. I declare right now in the name of Jesus Christ that that word that Jesus took your sicknesses and bear your infirmities is fulfilled in your ears and in your physical body today. The favor of God healeth thee in Jesus' name. It is your inheritance. It's time to pos take possession of it and begin to declaring it even when the symptoms are still there. Begin to speak of those things that are non-existent as though they already existed, because in the spirit world, it's your inheritance. But the way you bring that inheritance out of the spirit world into the natural world is by believing in your heart what God says in spite of how things look and confessing it with your mouth. With the mouth, Bible says, a man believeth, but with the heart, with, uh, uh, but with, with the heart man believes, but with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Amen. So I declare this day that as you speak this over your life right now and you begin to open your mouth and begin to declare, I, I, I have the favor of God. I'm healed by Jesus stripes. I'm blessed. I'm prosperous in the name of Jesus because I'm, I'm activating the favor of God on my life, which is my inheritance. You got that now. So long life. A lot of times people, the devil, you know, as you go on, you see people around you dying, relatives dying, friends dying, praise God. Sometimes that spirit of death will try to get on you. And you got to understand that God, the part of the favor of God that's in your life is long life, is long life. And according to the word of God that God spoke in the book of Genesis, he said 120 years. He said that shall be a man's life, 120 years. Well, the world has got things set up 
according to what God spoke to the children of Israel, I mean, I, I mean, what most spoke to the children of Israel when they were walking in disobedience, and that was three score and ten. That was not, God didn't say that. Moses said that, referring to the children of Israel, <laughs> you're following, that was disobedient. But God spoke after the flood uh, of Noah. He said, from this day forward, a man's days shall be 120 years. So you got to start thinking 120 and because otherwise, at 60 and 65, you start declining. You get in your rocking chair and just wait until that your day come. But how about reactivating the grace of long life? The book of Psalms, chapter number 91 and verse number 6, this is God speaking now, with long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. You got to start declaring. That's a part of the favor of God. Long life is a part of God's favor on your life. Hallelujah. And so you got to start declaring, no, praise God. Like right now, I, 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 I turned 65 years, not turned 66 years old this month. But I, I'm not in no rocking chair somewhere talking about retiring, praise God. Are you following me? I, I, I'm refiring. I'm looking forward to my future. Amen. I'm, I'm, see, you got to watch out for the, what the world tries to put on you. Are you following me? But you and I are in the favor of God. And Psalms 91, 16 said, with long life. Will I satisfy you and I'll show you my salvation? So you got to start declaring that, that I'm shown long life. I, I, I'll flow in the salvation of God. I think in the book of Psalms 92, it talks about this, that even in your old age, you shall flourish even in your old age. So, so you got to get in that point that I'm flourishing. Glory to God. I'm not declining. I'm flourishing in my old age. Glory to God. Because I'm planted in the house of God. That's what Psalm 92 said. Those that be planted in the house of God. It talks about flourishing. So you got to begin to start seeing that, no, in your old age, when we talk about old, old is, 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 is irrelevant. You know, based upon where you come from. When you hear that word old, to some folks, old is 60 years old. Some people, old is 70. Some people, old is 100. I mean, I, I watch the news sometime every morning, and they, and they celebrate people that have turned 100 and 105. I had the privilege of, of meeting a gentleman uh, a, a few years ago, uh, uh, and he was like 113 years old. He was still moving forward. He was still writing his second book. getting ready to travel on a book tour. Glory to God. And we got to spend some time with him. It was a great blessing because he said, I'm not preparing to die. I'm preparing to live. And based on the word of God, he, God said, I will satisfy you with long life. So, so get in the, the favor of God. Begin to declare it. You say, well, Pastor, everybody is dying early. But that does have to be you. So in other words, you know, I guarantee you, I'm not going to say everybody going to live to be 100 years old, but I guarantee if you change the way you think based on the word of God and based on the favor of God, I guarantee you'll live longer than what you would have lived selling for what the world's putting on you. Are uh, you following me? So you begin to declare the favor of God in your life. And amen in Jesus' name. And, but you got to put some things, you got to eat correctly, you got you to exercise, you got to do your part. But I'm telling you, don't just sit back in your rocking chair and watching <laughs> and binging on movies every day and, 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 and not getting exercise. Begin to prepare yourself to live in the favor and the grace of Almighty God of your life. You, you are too important to leave this earth too early. God's got a plan for your life. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. Now, another thing, you got to begin to understand that everything that God's that you're trusting God for, and that you're bold enough to speak, will be granted to you. I'm going to say it again. Everything you're trusting God for, no matter how big it is, if you're bold enough to, to take possession of it as your inheritance, and you're bold enough to ask God for it and declare it, I'm telling you, God will grant it in your life in the name of Jesus. Notice the book of First Chronicles chapter 4 and verse number 10. This is about a story about a young man by the name of Jabez. And Jabez, you know what I mean, means pain. <laughs> you follow me? Because his mother bore him in pain. He had, that, he had that thing over his life all the time. But Jabez decided that, I, that I'm going to ask God for his favor on my life. I'm going to ask God that in spite of the pain that I've been going through my life, in spite of what people have put on me, I'm going I'm to declare God's favor on my life. So Jabez in, in 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 10, and Jabez called on the God of Israel, not for people's opinions, saying, oh, that you would bless me indeed, God, and enlarge my coast, and that your hand might be with me, and that you would keep me from evil, that, that, and that, that it might not grieve me. And look what it says, and God granted that which he requested. See, until Jabez began to ask for it, and, and, and no matter how bold it was, even though it was against 
his own name that his mama gave him. It said, God granted that which he requested. I want you to ask today and I want you to request long life. I want you to request blessing. I want you to request, request your inheritance that belongs to you. I want you to request favor because the Bible says God grants you that which you request. And I want you to know that even when Nehemiah got ready to build, rebuild the walls of, Jer uh, the, of, 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 of Jerusalem there, he, one thing he said, this is the, this is the voice Bible, is, it, this is what he spoke. He says in, in Nehemiah 2.18, he says, I told the king that the hand of my God was good upon me. As the king, and also the king has spoken these words, and they said, let us rise and build. He was born to say that the, that the good hand of God is upon me. One tradition, one tradition says that the favor of God is on me. Glory <laughs> to God. He went, he, you know, Nehemiah, and he, he kept asking the king for things. Like, just like, just, just like Jabez get. He kept talking to God, well, king, I'm going to need some money down there. The king granted it. I'm going to need some, I'm, I'm going to need a letter from you, king. So when I get down there, they're going to know that you sent me. The king granted it. In other words, everything that, Jer that, that Nehemiah asked the king for was granted. See, sometimes you and I are too afraid to ask for things we really want. Are you following me? And we get into this acceptable uh, uh, thing in our lives instead of moving in the favor of God and the blessing of God on our lives. Glory to God. So begin today thanking God for his favor. Begin today, uh, begin to use, to operate in favor as your new way of life. It is not a season. It is an inheritance. I'm going to say it again. Favor is not a season that you're waiting on. Favor is a part of your inheritance. Are you following? The time to favor you has now arrived. Jesus said this is the day in Luke 4, we just talked about. He said that this is the day that the free favors of God profusely abound. Then he told his people, this day, this scripture is fulfilled in your ears. And I'm declaring on behalf of the Lord Jesus Christ today in his stead, as though he is self here, representing him as his ambassador today, that the free favors of God are profusely abounding in your life. But it's now time for you to begin to live it as your way of life. Come on, are you following it today? Amen. Now, because this favor of God, listen, now, this favor of God is, from this day forward is going to put you in the right place at the right time. This favor is going to cause you to excel in life. Amen. Notice the book of Zechariah now, chapter 10 and verse 1. Zechariah 10 and verse number 1. And, you know, Zechariah was bold because God talks about rain. And rain refers to the, to the favor of God. It refers to the blessing of God in your life. But he says in Zechariah 10, 1, he said, Ask ye, ask ye of the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain. And so, so the Lord shall make bright clouds and, listen now, and give them showers of rain and to everyone grass in the field. He said, he said I'm asking God, let the rain of your grace let the rain of healing, let the rain of blessings shower on me. And God says, uh, tell the people, I'm showering down now, rain. I'm raining blessing. I'm raining prosperity. I'm raining healing on their lives. I'm raining new husbands, new wives. I'm raining new businesses. I'm raining new churches. The rain is falling. Tell people to get their cup and, and, and I'll fill it. Whatever, they, whatever cup they give me, I'll fill it. If they give me a $100 cup, I'll fill it. They give me a thousand dollar cup, I'll fill it. They give me a million dollar cup, I'll fill it. If they're bold enough to ask big, God said, I will grant that which they request. Ask ye for rain. And then the book of Ezekiel, I, I like this one here. Ezekiel chapter number 34 and verse number 26. Ezekiel 34 and verse 26, God says here, and I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing. And I will cause showers to come down in his season, and there shall be showers of blessing. I'm declaring today, based on the favor of God, that showers of God's blessings are on your life, on your family, on your ministry, on your business, on your health. That showers of blessing. And I'm declaring that right now, promotion is coming suddenly. 
God is moving people out of the way that have stood in your way. Amen. Uh, people that have not been able to see the favor in your life will not recognize that God's favor is on you. And God's going to move obstacles. And he's going to cause people that, that, uh, that, that were not good to you, amen, to, to, uh, uh, to become good to you. And other people that, that you go to and maybe they didn't, want, they didn't recognize the favor in your life, God's going to send you to the right people. He said, if you're trusting me with all your heart and lean not to your understanding, but acknowledge me in all my, your ways, I'll direct your path. God's going to direct you to people that's going to be your yes. Glory to God. That's going to, that's going to see God favor in your life. That's going to give you whatever you ask. Glory to God. Because the favor of God is on your life. I'm declaring in the name of Jesus that God right now has people waiting on you for your year 2020. There are people waiting on you to be good to you. They're waiting. They are divine connections that are part of your future for this week, this year. Praise God. Because God's favor is on your life. So begin to thank God for it. No matter how it looks, begin to thank God for it. Stop talking about your problem. And start talking about your favor. Glory to God. Are you following that? Amen. Praise God. And begin to shout favor. Begin to declare favor in Jesus' name. Zechariah. We're getting ready to stop here. I'm just giving you these scriptures here. Zechariah to the 4 and verse number 7. Notice what he says. Because now there's a Zechariah is have a dream. and but, but, the, but the devil keeps putting obstacles in his way. And it's time for you and I. In the midst of, the, of facing these mountains of difficulties. To begin to declare the favor of God. That's on my life. The favor of God is on my ministry. The favor of God is on my business. The favor of God is on my family, praise God, on my children. I declare the favor of God that me and my whole household are saved. My children are taught of God, and great is the peace of my children. Amen. Praise God. My, I've trained my child, and even though they're trying to go uh, opposite the way, I'm declaring that my whole household is saved because the favor of God is on my house, is on my family. In Jesus' name. So look at Je Zechariah. He, in, in chapter 4, verse 7, he says, Who art thou, O great mountain? Before the Jerubbabel, you shall become plain. In other words, you're a mountain right now, but before me, you're going to become flat. Every mountain in your life become flat, he said. <laughs> Amen. He said, and, 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 and he shall bring forth the headstone thereof, shout with shouting and crying, Grace, grace, Unto it. You know what another word for grace is? Favor. He said, every mountain that I'm facing in my life, I'm shouting favor to that mountain. I'm declaring, I'm shouting favor to this sickness that by his stripes I'm healed. I'm shouting favor, glory to God, to my finances that my God supplies all my needs. Glory to God. In other words, whatever you're going through in your life right now, begin to shout favor and grace and blessing and healing to it and watch and see how God turns things around. So as I stop today, I'm declaring favor over your life, over your finances. I'm declaring favor on your healing, on your marriage. I'm declaring favor on your, on your clients, on your customers. I'm declaring favor over your life in Jesus' name. But it's time for you now to activate it. Now you got to begin to confess that with your mouth and declare it and watch God do it in your life. Now, this has been a great week. Uh, three quick announcements. I want to encourage you to, to register for my conference that I'm doing in Phoenix next week, the, the 16th, 17th, and 18th. You click that and register for that conference. I'm looking forward to seeing you all there, being a part of those three days. It's going to be, it's going to be that, that Thursday night at 7 o'clock, then that Friday morning at 10, and then that, again Friday at 7 o'clock that night, and then again Saturday from 10 to 1 or 10 to 2, whatever it is there. Register for that. Also, my ministry training institute starts this Monday, this Monday night. And pray, and I'm going to be teaching on faith. You may say, I already know faith, but I'm telling you, so I'm going to be teaching on faith as a potato possessing your heritage. I want you to register for my school, MTI, one hour. If you're in Vegas here, it's from 7 to 8. If you're in Arizona, it'll be from 8 to 9. But I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it because I'm going to be teaching the Word of God on faith that's going to change your world. So you want to be a part of that class, amen. So register for the class that I'll be teaching uh, beginning on my ministry school, uh, uh, beginning Monday night. You're going to, we're going to, it's going to be a, it's going to be a, it's a two year course. Uh, uh, you're gonna you're gonna get you're gonna have a graduation behind that. It's gonna be a great blessing for you. I'm looking forward to what God's hat for your life. Amen. We love you very much. It's been a great time being with you this whole week. Amen. And uh, I want you to have a blessed weekend. And remember, activate your favor. Until n Monday morning at the same time. Uh, sh again, share this with your friends on Facebook. But until Monday at the same time, this has been Dr. Alfred Craig, Apostle to the Nations. Sam, may God's riches 
and his very best be yours. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye now.